Hey everyone, I thought I'd share with you a method to turn your helix into a synth that can be used with a MIDI controller. I've seen people use the three note generator with bypass foot switches and even snapshots, but I haven't found anyone using it with a MIDI controller yet. I'll put my final preset up on the custom tone and put a link in the description. Let's have a listen. Okay, we're in the Launchpad Pro MK3 software. To start, we're gonna add our chromatic scale. So we can just drag and drop these CC buttons anywhere. And these are gonna represent our notes in the chromatic scale. And I'm gonna put our sharps up here. Okay. Um, so the first thing, we're going to do momentary switches. So that means when we're pressing it, it's going to do this on value. And when we're not pressing it, it's going to do this off value. One of the things we're going to want to make sure that we set is all the off values are going to be set to zero. But the way the three note generator works in the helix, C starts at zero and ends at 11. So for the first one, we're just going to switch this to one. We're not going to care about doing it at zero. All the rest, we're just going to use the first number because it's easy. But this, we're going to make sure that we avoid zero. That's going to be the only weird one. The reason we're doing that is because when you're pressing the value, you're going to be somewhere between one and 127. And when we're not pressing the value, it's going to be zero. And when the three note generator works, it's kind of an always on thing in the helix, but we're going to want to play off of that zero value so that we can hack it to turn off while we're not playing that note. Okay, so first value, we're going to set the on to one. Then we're going to do C sharp. We're going to set it to 12. Then we're going to do D. We're going to set that to 24. And I'll come back when all these are done. Okay, we're all done. So we have C starting at 1, and then we have C sharp starting at 12, and each one of these is just using the first number next to each of these values until we get to B, and that's 127. This is only one octave, though, so we're going to do something to give us more than one octave. So very similar concept, except we're going to, instead of these being momentary, we're going to set our octave buttons up here to be trigger. And all that means is when we press it, it's just going to stay there. It's not going to have an off value. OK, very similar concept. We're going to do our negative two octaves. The value on that is going to be 0. And for our negative one octave, the value on that's going to be 32. Make sure everything's set to trigger. OK, uh, this is our zero octave. That's going to be set to 64. The plus one octave is going to be set to 96. And then our plus two octave is going to be set to 127. Uh, I'm going to change these so that the channel on this part is set to channel three. And the channel on these is make sure it's set to channel one. OK, we're all done on here. Last thing we have to do is send it to our Launchpad Pro. And I'm going to say send it to the custom mode six. And we're going to override the custom mode. OK, we're in FL Studio now. First thing we want to do is make sure that our, our project can see our MIDI controller, the Launchpad Pro. So we're going to go into MIDI settings. Uh, make sure it's there for an input and on the helix we want to make sure that it's we can output MIDI signals to that. Make note that this is on port one. The next thing we want to do is say uh, add a MIDI out channel. And this is going to send MIDI signals out to the helix. Um, so we can right click on this. We can say link to controller and I can tap on our chromatic scale. And it automatically linked it to our controller. See how it filled out the port, the channel. Um, and we're going to click Accept. We're going to say Configure. 
And here's where we want to switch over to the Helix software. Um, so we're going to want to set up our three note generator. And by default, it's off. The thing we're going to do is change this OSC one note. Um, but to start, we'll just do this one. We're going to click the controller for MIDI CC and note that it says CC4 here. Okay, come back here. Our controller, we're going to say CC4. I'm going to click accept. So now when I tap my controller, the launch pad, you can see as I go up the chromatic scale how the notes are changing. And remember, we put C as 1 and B at the end what is 127. So now let's go back to the Helix. We'll check out if these notes are actually changing. So nothing is happening. Ah, yes. So on our MIDI out, we're going to make sure this says 1. OK, let's check it out again. Yep. So now as we go up the chromatic scale, we can see that the notes are changing. Okay, so we're going to do the exact same thing to note 2 and note 3. Note says CC4, and on note 3, add a MIDI CC and CC4. So now when we press our notes on the launch pad, you can see that everything's working in unison. Great. Um, but the problem, if we turn this on, it's always on, um, and no matter if we're hitting the note or not, it's just going to be playing something. Just sounds not very good. So the next thing we're going to want to do is, as we're playing the notes, have it be on. But when we're not playing the notes, have it be off. So to do that, we're going to add a volume control. And we're going to want to control the position. MIDI CC. Um, I'm going to switch it to MIDI CC5. We're going to go back into our MIDI out in FL Studio, link to controller. We're going to tap something on our chromatic scale, and we can see that these knobs are not working in unison. We're going to configure. We're going to call this one CC5, except and we're going to go back into Helix and see what it's doing. OK, so it's actually controlling the volume, but not in a way that we want. So if I'm on the lower end of the chromatic scale, it's changing the volume to be lower positions. But if I'm closer to that B note, the end, then it's you know 90s or 80s or 100. So we want it to be either be on or off. So to do that, we're going to go back into FL Studio in our MIDI out, right click on this, link to controller, and see how this is a direct line up. As we push a note, we really want it to be either on or off. So we're going to click this drop down. We're going to say force Boolean. So in programming stuff, uh, Boolean is either true or false. And Sometimes it's written as zero is false and anything but zero is true. So if we do anything above zero, that's going to evaluate to on and zero is going to evaluate to off. So now if I hit C, OK, see how it's at 127 now. And really any note in this chromatic scale is going up to 127. And when we're not pressing it, it's at zero. And it goes back to the drawing we made earlier. So as we have our off value set to 0, it's going to be off. And anything above that off value, we want it to be on. And let's just confirm that what we're seeing in the helix. So I'm going to hit lower notes and higher notes. And everything is turning on or off just how we want it. So now we can turn this oscillator on the three note generator. We don't hear it when we're not pressing anything anymore. But when I press something, you can hear it now, just as you want to happen. OK, so we got our notes set up 
now the next thing we want to do is set up our octave. So again, we're going to right click on uh, a third knob, say link to controller. Now we're going to click one of our octave buttons. Confirm that it filled out everything the way we wanted it to. Click accept, configure. Now we need to go back in our Helix software. I found it easier if we just drag this over and we're going to go up to pitch and then simple pitch. And we could just change this interval. So we're going to change interval. We're going to say MIDI CC. And we're going to put this up to 6. We just have to make sure that we set it to 6 in here. OK, accept. Um, so now if I click our octaves. And I'm just tapping them once. And you can notice that they're staying at that value. So let's see what happens in the helix. So I'm going to make this a little more complex, and then we can demo it. OK, so now that we have our patch set up, we have stereo path, and we have our oscillator, we have our octave, and then we have our volume on and off. And we set up a second chromatic scale to do exactly the same thing. So over in FL Studio, we have our chromatic scale. We have our octave control and then our second chromatic scale. This enables us to play two notes at the same time. So let's do a little recording. We're going to start by doing two notes at the same time. And then we're going to do our octave zero and our second chromatic scale, which I just have set to an octave up. Uh, we'll go two octaves down and then we'll go two octaves up. So I set this up on the launch pad um, with two chromatic scales. And the reason for doing this is you can hit two notes at the same time. So one note on the first chromatic scale here, and then second note um, somewhere on the second chromatic scale. Something to note is I put all these on MIDI channel one, and all these on MIDI channel two, and then our octaves on MIDI channel three. <laughs> 